Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week, as I posted, Microsoft released their latest optional update, which was in its final testing in the release preview channel, KB5031455, build 2261.2500, which is going to be rolling out um, next week, Tuesday, uh, to the stable version. And I'll leave that video down below. Now, as I mentioned in that video, um, there was no word yet if 23H2 was going to start rolling out with this optional update, which is our feature update for the year, which will bump up the version of the OS from version 22H2 to version 23H2. But um, although there was no mention from those release notes, according to the ex-user Techosaurus Rex, the system components page, which I have been posting on um, in other preview versions in the Insider program has now made its way into this release preview channel and this last um, update before it rolls out to the stable version. And according to um, Techosaurus Rex, the system components now, as I've mentioned, are getting their own page and their own system components page where Microsoft is separating all the system components with, as an example, of the other apps that you have actually installed on the system. Now, if we head to the next uh, screenshot provided, here we can see that on the system page, it's got its own system components, which, as mentioned, if you click on, takes you to the system components page. And even in the start menu, components that are part of the system, like File Explorer, have also got the name system underneath them. And this is in line now with what Microsoft is doing as an example in the Microsoft Store, where even apps that are system components have been labeled system components compared to apps to differentiate between what is part of the system and what are the apps that you can install as a user. And um, this seems now to be a feature that's going to be rolling out with 23H2. So at this stage, still not exactly sure when 23H2 is rolling out, but there is a good chance it could start rolling out um, next week, or if not next week, then I would say into November and then into the beginning of December. But just wanted to let you know about regarding that because I have spoken about this system components before, and um, there's a good sign now that 23H2 will include that as a new feature. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.